Welcome to this tutorial on Mac file management. Today we're going to learn how to make some folders, how to name the folders, and these folders will be used to store all the files we use for our project work. So the first thing I would like to point out is that there are two hard drives connected to your machine. The Mac hard drive is the internal drive that's located in the iMac. The Lacie hard drive is located under the iMac screen and it's the shiny silver box that's connected with some cables giving you extra storage space. Kind of like if you were to connect say a thumb drive, or like a USB thumb drive. I'm going to show you the location where to find things. So if you look down on the bottom of the screen in your dock, click to the finder, and depending on when you're watching this tutorial, your finder may look slightly different than what you see in this finder here. But the finder in the Mac operating system, on the left side, you can find devices. So we see the hard drive and the C drive. And then in the right side, it shows you all the files. Up at the top, there are sorting options. So I like to sort sometimes with columns or in rows, or I'm sorry, in lines, and then or by icons. Depends on what you're looking for and how you need to search. So if I go to the LC drive, the LC drive is the external drive where you're going to be saving all of your video work for this year. So on the LC drive, we're going to make a folder, and if you click on the sprocket, a submenu pops up. So new folder, and then you're going to name your folder always with the date first, your last name, and then something descriptive about what's going in the folder. So 11, 6, 12, a stone, and let's call this sample, or example. Enter. So now I've named my folder very accurately. Also notice there are no spaces and dashes, so like the minus sign, rather than slashes. Slashes in computer language are subfolder modifiers and it can screw things up when we're doing video production work or audio production work. So we always use dashes. We always make our file names without spaces. Spaces can sometimes screw things up when we're moving files to our VT5 or on the web. So try to have no spaces and always use dashes and date things first. You put your name on the file and you have something very descriptive about what the file is. And here we're, we're, we're saying example if you look here, we have the student-faculty game. Now, I don't know who produced that because their name wasn't put on here, but I know that this is the student-faculty basketball game, and if I was to search it in this field here, it would be very easily searched. So naming folders is very important because we make millions of files, literally millions of files. So um, years later down the road, sometimes I have to search and find media for different projects, so it's, it's best if we name using this system with the date, your last name so I know who worked on it and then also the um, something very descriptive about the file so like Brady Bunch here we're seeing we're seeing bench story project here very very accurate naming of your folders so you just saw number one we're going to make a folder and then whether we're working on audio or video you start with a folder it's the very first step the next video that you're going to watch goes over steps two and three, so making a folder and then setting up where your video files are going to be saved and also saving the project file in the folder and all of your other files for the project in the same folder. And I like to make the analogy, it's kind of like your sock drawer. If you know where to look for all of your files, it makes it a lot easier and saves a lot of time. So know where you're putting your files, know what you're naming your files, and you will be producing with much more speed and accuracy.